Hello everyone, this is Scrapyard Studios and today's video will be a tutorial specifically on how to make Ertl rolling stock. Almost no one has done a tutorial like this before, so this should be useful. So, now with introductions out the way, watch and learn. First things first, you need a piece of rolling stock and when you've got your piece of rolling stock, you need to take apart your piece of rolling stock with this very sexy Leo Can Video screwdriver shot. Once we've taken the item apart, we can throw it in the deep end, so to speak. You'll see what I mean in a second. Half time. To make the stickers come off easier, we need to soak the body in warm soapy water for an hour, so to pass that time, click here so you don't get bored. I won't plug myself again, I promise. Now here comes the tricky part, actually stripping the stickers with a craft knife. If you're under the age of 10, be fucking careful. This is my 8th time making rolling stock and I still managed to cut myself. I also heavily condone against using something as sharp as a Stanley knife. Craft knives are the better option. They're half the price, smaller and come in a variety of blade shapes that aren't sharp to the point where you lose a finger. Now that the body's nice and smooth, it's time to paint. As I said in my Q&A, I use Revel paint, which is perfect for Ertl. I'd highly recommend the stuff, however you will also need white spirit to clean your brushes, so opening a window would be a good idea. It should only take about 3 or 4 thin coats for the thing to be completely smooth and even. Whilst we wait for the paint to dry, we come to my favourite part about making rolling stock. The detail. This will be achieved in Microsoft Paint using the rectangle tool with an image of a sprite as reference. This one being by Captain Slow Games on Twitter. Okay, so now that we've finished the decal, we are going to use the select tool. Copy. Paste into PowerPoint. Resize. Shit. Copy again. Paste and flip. The only reason we're using PowerPoint to resize instead of paint is because paint is a pain in the ass, and PowerPoint is so much easier. And here's how big you want the decals to be. This next step is optional but after printing I like to cover my decals with sellotape to give it a layer of security in case I dropped a drink onto the thing. It isn't foolproof if you dropped it in water but for minor spills it acts as a suit of armour if you will. Make sure the piece of tape you use doesn't have any seams or smudges on it otherwise it just throws the whole thing off. Take great care when trimming the tape because the slightest mark can leave a huge dent. In other words, try not to cut off part of the decals because one thing that sucks about custom making is having to redo the custom all over again. While it is about having fun, it's also about getting it to the best standard you possibly can. And no matter how high your standards may be, to make a great custom, don't be afraid to push yourself and take on challenging techniques because it really helps to boost up your skills as a model maker in the long run. And most importantly, take as much time as you need with it because if you rush your work, it's going to look shit, so patience is the top priority in making customs. Now on to actually applying the decals to the body. For this, you have to put the blue tack onto the body very meticulously. You don't want to put on big blobs of the stuff, otherwise the decals will stick out too much. Applying them is a pretty straightforward process. If it isn't on straight, just move it with your fingers. Take care when putting the roof back onto the body, as it won't always go on straight. It may also push the stickers out, but not enough to tear them if you haven't taped yours. After that, we can finally screw everything back together and call it done. So that is how you make Ertl rolling stock. If you found this tutorial useful, feel free to tag me with a picture via Instagram or Twitter. I look forward to seeing what you guys can do. You've been watching Scrapyard Studios and I will see you soon.